Hello and welcome to the solution video to spicy question number 37. So in this question we've got five rectangles and we're going to join them together to make an open-ended prism where the cross-section is a regular pentagon, so it will look something like this. Now the length of this prism will be the same as the length from A to B, so 12 meters. And since all of the rectangles are congruent, we know each of the sides of the pentagon will be 5 meters, like this. Then we need to find the distance from E to F. E and F are on opposite sides of these rectangles, so they'll be on opposite sides of the prism, but they're also one rectangle apart. So let's imagine that point E was here, point F could be down here. In order to find the length EF, we're going to start by drawing a line from E to this point here, which we'll call G. Now since this pentagon is a regular pentagon, we know all of the interior angles. They're all 108 degrees. So we could mark on this angle here as 108 degrees. Now if we look at this triangle we've created, it looks something like this. We can now use the cosine rule to find the length from E to G. So it would be EG squared equals 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 lots of 5 times 5 times cos of 108. If you type the right hand side into your calculator, you'll get this. And then if you square root both sides, you'll find that EG is equal to this. So we can add EG to our diagram. What we're going to do now is draw in the line that we want from E to F, and you should notice that EGF is a right angled triangle. Since we have a right angled triangle and we know two of the sides, we can use Pythagoras. So EF squared is equal to 12 squared plus the side EG squared, which was this number here. If you work out the right hand side using your calculator, you'll get this. And then to find EF, you just square root both sides, which to four significant figures is 14.47 meters. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.